yeah, congratulations on the film. Uh, I just wondered for you guys, what's been the most kind of rewarding thing about this whole this whole process? You as the the person that's behind it, and you, Mark, as a passion project for you. I mean, what's been the most remarkable thing that you've taken from from the film? Well, for me, it was having the film come out and having other people finally see the, um, the story about how this chemical and this whole family of chemicals have now contaminated our entire planet and everyone on it. Uh, it's been something that's been very difficult to get out uh, outside of West Virginia and outside of where this happened for people to really understand that this is something that's affecting all of us. So to see that come out has been tremendous. And from, from a UK point of view, I mean, I, I didn't know much about this at all. And that's kind of the, the great thing about the movie is that you're getting that message out. I mean, for you, Mark, when you when you first heard about this, was this an immediate kind of, I have to try and make this into a film because the rest of the world maybe doesn't know what they should? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, one of the most striking things was... Uh, I was reading this in a New York Times magazine, um, and it was so enormous, and I was just so outraged and shocked that I wasn't reading it on the cover of of the cover of the New York Times, on the cover of every major publication in the world, and um, it was a moment to blend my the work I do politically and, and activism with with storytelling, and and I understand like how deep into the world storytelling can go if you do it well enough. Um, and I really did feel like this story was specific to PFAS, but I think people also walk away understanding it's a systemic problem as well uh, with our industries and uh, the fear that regulators have um, about regulating them to keep us safe. Yeah. And uh, yeah, so it felt like the right time to tell the story. I guess having someone like uh, Todd Haynes, who's so precise in what he wants to do, that he really does allow the story to, to be told in a way that's that's easily ab absorbed by by the audience. You must have been delighted with having him on the project, but for him to bring the story uh, to, to, the, to the fore, if you like. Like the best it could possibly be. <laughs> and uh, the fact that he's um, sort of outside of the box of this kind of story, I think makes it all the more exciting. And I, I think it's one of his great works as well. Yeah, what are you hoping the film does for, for people that young audiences particularly don't know too much about, about this? Are you hoping that it reaches them and, and teaches them some, some lessons, if you like? Absolutely, I'm hoping that they, they see it and are inspired to know that they can make a change. You know, they can stand up in their town, in their community, and it just takes one person to do that. Somebody, you know, we see with through Mr. Tennant in the film. You know, one individual standing up can, can ch make a huge change. Yeah. Just as a final question, a really boring, and apologies for being slightly rude, but ask the Avengers question. Obviously, Endgame has been a huge, huge success. Taika Waititi is coming back for Thor, Love and Thunder. Christian Bale is in the mix. Yeah. Is that somewhere we could see Bruce come back, or do you know what Bruce's path is post-Endgame? I don't know. Um... We uh, have sort of talked a little bit about it, but we haven't settled on anything. So I, I don't know where or if uh, we'll see him. Uh, You've got to be careful again. these days, though, right? Uh, yeah. Where is this live? Yeah, it's live. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, absolutely Can we cut amazing that to out? meet you both. Uh, <laughs> Thank you. Fantastic film. I wish Thank you all the best. You, Thank you so Thank much. Thank you so much. Yeah, appreciate yeah, really appreciate it. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys. Hey, you guys, huh? Hey, you guys. Is yeah. that from the Goonies? It is indeed, yeah. Nice. Hey, you 